T-Star sideline for Premier League kickoff as Luke Shaw set to be sold, as Man United received transfer request to force exit amid fresh Manuel Ugar talks. Manchester United fans were happy after the Red Devils won the race with Real Madrid for signing young defender Lenny Euro from Lille in the summer, but the happiness wasn't sustained for a long time as the centre-back picked up an injury during the pre-season friendly against Arsenal. The club has also confirmed that the 18-year-old defender will be ruled out for three months. United will also miss Rasmus Hodgland service until September last week. The Dane International was also injured during the preseason match against the Gunners, and United manager Eric Ten Hag will only have new addition Joshua Zerksy as the only natural striker in the club for the opening matches. The Dutch manager used captain Bruno Fernandes in the striker position for the Community Shield match against Manchester City on Saturday. Despite losing the game in the penalty shootout, Bruno had a decent performance in the striker's role and provided an assist for Alejandro Garnacho in the match. United United have to find backup options for the injured players in the ongoing transfer market. Ten Hag might also manage those roles with in-house options until their return after the rest. Luke Shaw will miss the opening matches for United. According to the club's statement, Manchester United fullback Luke Shaw will miss the opening games of the Premier League season due to a calf injury. The English fullback would be a key player in the back line for Ten Hag for the new season. Shaw has also missed a major part of the last season due to muscle injury and only appeared in 13 games for the Red Devils. He wasn't included in United's preseason squad as he was on holiday following the national duty in the Euro campaign. He was also not included in the Community Shield match against Manchester City, and Ten Hag used Lissandro Martinez as the left-back option for United on Saturday. The club is expecting his return after the first international break, and he is currently working hard on his rehabilitation. United would face serious problems in the backline as multiple defenders are suffering from injury. The club has also not confirmed the return of Victor Lindelof to the squad, and the Swedish defender was also not included in the match against the Manchester Blues. The Dutch Gaffer is also keen on signing a new stopper back to the club and he may also bolster the back line with new additions in the summer. In other news, Man United received transfer request to force exit amid fresh Manuel Ugar talks. Manchester United announced the signings of Bayern Munich pair Mathage, De Ligt and Nasser Mazraoui in a move that could cost nearly £60 M on Tuesday night. De Ligt has signed a five-year contract and Mazraoui a four-year deal, both with the option to extend for a further year. United have already signed Lenny Euro from Lille for around £52 M, but he will miss the start of the season through injury. However, talk has now shifted to who could be the next to arrive at Old Trafford this summer, with Manuel Ugard a name that continues to pop up and it appears United have not given up hope of landing the Uruguay international. Fabrizio Romano claims that Ugart's agent Jorge Menz is in England to discuss his client with the Reds, weeks after the parties agreed personal terms. However, it is said that United will opt for a cheaper option unless PSG reduces their asking price or they can sanction another sale. Transfer Request Hannibal Medjbri has reportedly handed in a transfer request, as the Tunisia international is said to be stepping up his efforts to try and force an exit. Buzz News Tunisia claims English press sources confirmed the news about the player asking to leave, with United reputedly wanting around £7 million for the midfielder amid interest from Celtic or Rangers. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.